Chapter 2 Culinary Chaos and Shifting Alliances The hulking and scarred Stellar Devourer faded into the glittering expanse of the trade hub as Alex settled into the Mega Nutri shuttle. He traded the ship's familiar hum of recycled air and the pungent aroma of ration paste for climate controlled perfection and the faint, sterile scent of manufactured cleanliness. Gone was his stained, ship-issue jumpsuit. Instead, he wore pressed slacks and an immaculate chef's coat hastily borrowed from a bewildered Thraxian crewmate. It still smelled faintly of engine grease and something unidentifiably acidic. It was not ideal, but it had to be done. The shuttle's interior mirrored that of the Mega Nutri representative. Smooth, polished, and unnervingly cheerful. A disembodied voice chirped a welcome message about transforming the culinary landscape, while holographic displays showcased images of sleek kitchen appliances and suspiciously happy beings from a dozen species enjoying something beige but artfully arranged. Alex suppressed a shudder. He was supposed to be the star of these ads, the face of culinary innovation. Instead, those images brought back his chilling realisation. Mega Nutri's version of his future was one of mass-produced recipes with carefully controlled flavours. His role would be less celebrity chef and more glorified lab technician. The shuttle docked with a barely perceptible jolt. Alex tried to school his features into a mask of polite interest, but his stomach churned with nerves and anticipation. He was stepping off the pirate ship and into the lion's den. Welcome, Chef Alex. A woman in a tailored power suit shimmered into existence as the shuttle doors slid open. Perfectly coiffed hair, a blindingly bright smile, and eyes glittered with an intensity that set Alex's teeth on edge. I'm Ilara, Chief of Culinary Development. I'll be your guide today. Her voice warm and sweet as artificial honey, made Alex's skin crawl. He'd expected a menacing scientist, not a walking ad for the corporate ideal. His best defence was to mirror her enthusiasm, even if it tasted like ashes in his mouth. The pleasure is mine, he managed, offering a smile that felt two sizes too big. I'm eager to see the Marvel's Mega Nutri has in store. Elara's smile widened, revealing perfectly even teeth. Then allow me to show you a world of flavour, Chef Alex. She gestured towards a doorway, bathed in a soft, welcoming light, promising state-of-the-art wonders within. As Alex followed, he couldn't shake the feeling that he wasn't just walking through those doors. He was plunging into a carefully constructed illusion, one he'd have to navigate if he wanted to protect his food and perhaps the galaxy. The light streaming through the doorway led not into a single kitchen, but into a sprawling complex that made the Stellar Devourer's galley look like a pantry cupboard. The space hummed with a low rhythmic pulse, the thrum of machinery on a scale Alex had never imagined. Behold, Ilara said, her voice tinged with pride, the beating heart of Mega Nutri. Alex's initial awe was quickly replaced by creeping unease. Conveyor belts snaked across the ceiling, carrying unidentifiable ingredients towards gleaming vats and humming processing units. Workers, if you could call them that, were in identical, immaculate uniforms and moved with synchronised precision, their expressions blank. It took a Herculean effort to keep the grimace off his face. This was the polar opposite of his chaotic galley on the pirate ship. There were no sizzling pans, no fragrant clouds of steam, no shouts and laughter intermingling with the sizzle of food finding heat. Here, cooking was reduced to a science, a coldly efficient assembly line. Impressive, he said, hoping his voice didn't betray his misgivings. The scale is remarkable. Elara beamed, mistaking his apprehension for fascination. Indeed, chef. Our facilities produce enough Nutripacks to feed entire star systems. It's the pinnacle of efficiency, a triumph of nutritional science. 
The term Nutripax echoed in Alex's mind, the bland, standardised food he'd been fighting against since his arrival on the Stella Devourer. Was this the future he was being offered? To transform his culinary revolution into pre-packaged monotony? They continued deeper into the complex. Walls shimmered with displays, charts flashing with nutrient breakdowns, yield projections, and something unsettlingly labelled consumer satisfaction metrics. The artificially sweet air masked an underlying metallic tang, reminding Alex of a hospital's sterile chill. He caught snippets of conversations as they passed groups of technicians. Flavour optimization protocol. Market penetration strategies. Subspace transport logistics. The vocabulary wasn't culinary, but corporate. Alex wasn't just seeing Mega Nutri's kitchen. He was getting a disturbing glimpse into the heart of their ambitions. Ilara led him through a series of laboratories, each more meticulously organised than the last. Scientists in pristine white coats, the kind he'd envisioned himself wearing in the holographic displays, analysed samples, adjusted complex-looking machinery and consulted glowing data screens. It was all awe-inspiring and utterly intimidating. He tried to focus on Ilara's carefully curated explanations, nodding and murmuring in all the right places, but his mind raced, desperately cataloguing details that might be useful later, such as the whirring centrifuge that seemed suspiciously large for natural flavour extraction. The armed guards stationed at a reinforced security door, and the flash of impatience that crossed Alara's face when he asked about the source of a particularly pungent aroma. Each sight, each seemingly casual piece of information, deepened the pit in his stomach. Mega Nutri wasn't just about efficiency and optimised nutrition. Their operation whispered something darker, control, ruthless expansion, and perhaps even secrets best kept hidden. Of course, Ilara continued, gesturing towards a row of vats where a pale, viscous liquid churned slowly. This is our preliminary flavour synthesis stage. Our scientists break down natural ingredients to their molecular level, identifying the essence of each taste profile. Alex forced himself to pay attention, even as his mind buzzed with possibilities. Synthesis. That was the key. No wonder the Mega Nutri rep hadn't blinked when he'd scoffed at the expense of his dishes. They didn't care about exotic spices or fresh produce. They wanted to reduce it to a reproducible formula. The tour became a blur of gleaming surfaces and unsettling discoveries. His unease grew into certainty. This wasn't about a partnership. Mega Nutri saw him not as a collaborator, but as a tool and resource to exploit. Alex, the human chef, the quirky novelty from a backwater planet, was merely the first step in their plan to standardise taste across the galaxy. Alex played his part as the slightly overwhelmed but increasingly awed chef as the tour progressed. Internally, though, his escape plans started to take shape. This wasn't just about saving his own skin. He needed to expose Mega Nutri and warn the galaxy of what lurked beneath the surface of efficiency and innovation. Their journey through the heart of Mega Nutri culminated in a seemingly ordinary-looking chamber with extraordinarily tight security. Two imposing guards, more muscle than uniform, flanked a scanner beside a reinforced metal door. Ilara, with a smug smile, placed her palm against the scanner. After a tense moment, the lock disengaged with an ominous hiss. And here, Chef Alex, Ilara announced with a flourish, gesturing him inside, is the true source of our culinary supremacy. The room was smaller, dimly lit, and dominated by rows of massive cylindrical tanks. A network of tubes snaked across the ceiling, the air thick with a complex cloying odour that made Alex's nose wrinkle. This wasn't a mere storage room for rare spices or exotic ingredients. The tang in the air hinted at something. Unnatural. I must admit, Alex ventured, 
trying to sound curious rather than alarmed. This wasn't quite what I expected. Ah, Alara chuckled, her demeanour shifting subtly. Perhaps your understanding of natural needs expanding, Chef Alex. She led him towards one of the massive tanks. It glowed from within, a sickly green light illuminating the viscous liquid sloshing gently within. A small viewing window offered a peek inside, and what Alex saw made his stomach turn. The tank wasn't filled with leaves, roots or other recognisable ingredients. Instead, a mass of pulsing. Things writhed in the murky depths, thorny limbs, too many eyes, and what looked like clusters of glistening spores. It was organic, yet utterly alien and more unsettling than any insectile Krelnixi or leathery Thraxian in Vorax's crew. This, Ilara explained with a voice laced with triumph, is the key to our success. Proprietary breeds, Chef Alex. Bioengineered from the ground up to maximize flavor, minimize waste, and thrive on the most basic energy sources. She tapped the side of the tank, sending a ripple through the horrifying mass within. Maximum efficiency, maximum yield. Alex stared, the room spinning around him. This was the heart of Mega Nutri's flavor revolution, not delicate blends of spices, not culinary skill, but engineered monstrosities. It explained everything. The artificiality of the flavors, the ruthlessness behind the gleaming facade. This wasn't cooking, it was tampering with the building blocks of life for profit. Ingenious, he choked out, the single word laced with disgust and a desperate surge of adrenaline. He needed to get out of there and return this knowledge to Vorax and anyone who might listen. Alex, the out-of-place chef about to be swallowed whole by a corporation, had just stumbled upon the greatest culinary horror imaginable. Alex fought to keep his expression neutral as waves of nausea washed over him. His polite chef mask threatened to crack, revealing the revulsion and fear bubbling beneath the surface. However, outward escape right now would make him a target. He needed to play this smarter, sowing seeds of doubt in Ilara's carefully cultivated confidence. With forced casualness, he turned away from the tank and towards her. Truly fascinating, Alex murmured, his voice carefully modulated. But perhaps, with such efficient organisms. He let the thought hang in the air, a subtle shift in the power dynamic. Does this focus on efficiency leave room for... the unexpected? After all, even the most carefully engineered process can produce surprising results. He watched Ilara closely, waiting for a flicker of uncertainty to cross her carefully composed façade. This was the moment his plan hinged upon, not on running, but on forcing Mega Nutri to question the very control they thought they possessed. The transition from the bioengineering chamber to Ilara's office was jarring. Plush carpeting replaced sterile floors, soft lighting banished harsh fluorescence, and the lingering scent of engineered organisms was mercifully absent. Yet, for Alex, the true horror still clung to him, making the opulent surroundings feel all the more sinister. Ilara settled behind a massive, gleaming desk, her power suit and perfect smile now seeming out of place. She gestured towards a plush armchair opposite her. Please, Chef Alex, have a seat. Contracts await. Her voice held a note of forced cheer, an attempt to reassert control over the situation. It wouldn't work. Alex had seen behind the curtain, and his polite smiles held a newfound edge. He sat, crossing his legs with a nonchalance he didn't quite feel. Before we dive into contracts, Ilara, he began, casually using her name as a subtle way to alter the balance of power. Let's discuss some unique challenges I've faced aboard the Stellar Devourer. Ilara's perfect eyebrows arched in feigned surprise. Challenges, chef? Indeed, Alex leaned forward, his tone serious. Flavor, as you know, is personal. My crew, a diverse group of species, to put it mildly, have developed distinct preferences. 
a ghost of a smile played on his lips. The Nutri-Packs your representative offered? They wouldn't last a single cycle. He watched Alara closely. Her jovial facade cracked slightly, and a flicker of annoyance replaced her practiced warmth. I assure you, Chef Alex, our research and development department is at the forefront of adaptability. We can cater to even the most unconventional taste. Adaptability, yes. Alex tilted his head, a calculated play on her vocabulary. But perhaps there's a fine line between that and homogenization. True flavor, Ilara, lies in its uniqueness. He let the thought hang heavy in the air. Wouldn't you agree? It was a subtle challenge, a test. Mega Nutri craved control and the ability to standardize taste across sectors. Alex's ragtag band of pirates and a burgeoning culinary rebellion represented an unpredictable variable, a glitch in their program. Elara's composure finally faltered. She straightened in her chair, her manicured hand drumming a nervous rhythm on the desk. Are you implying, Chef Alex, that your crew wouldn't appreciate the benefits of our products? I'm merely outlining the complexities of taste. Alex shrugged, maintaining his infuriatingly calm demeanor. I'm a chef, Ilara. My allegiance is to flavor, to the satisfaction of every crew member under my jurisdiction, human or otherwise. That last sentence hung between them like a threat. Chef he may be, but he stood on a pirate ship amidst a network of trade hub alliances and rivalries. His knowledge and skills could become a dangerous bargaining chip in the wrong hands. It was time Alara understood that Alex wasn't merely an asset to be acquired. He could be a liability just as easily. Alara was no fool. She'd climbed the corporate ladder through cunning and ruthless ambition, not naive idealism. Alex's shift, his subtle defiance in tone, didn't go unnoticed. Her smile turned brittle, a mask of pleasantry barely concealing the calculation in her eyes. Chef Alex, she began, her voice smooth but with a chill underlying the sweetness. Your enthusiasm is commendable, but perhaps you've misunderstood the nature of our partnership. Mega Nutri prides itself on innovation, bringing efficiency, nutrition, and the joy of flavor to even the most remote parts of the galaxy. She leaned forward, mirroring Alex's earlier posture. Your... Unique culinary methods have yielded intriguing results. We value that. But there's potential for so much more. Imagine, Chef Alex, your dish is enjoyed not just by a ragtag pirate crew, but trillions of beings across the seven sectors. The offer was tempting, a whisper of the fame that had first lured him to the sleek Mega Nutri shuttle. His face plastered on Nutri packs his name synonymous with accessible, standardized flavor. Yet, echoing in his mind was the squirming mass in the bioengineering lab, the horrifying foundation of Mega Nutri's promises. Indeed, Alex replied, his voice carefully modulated. Imagine it, but such reach would require significant adjustments to those unique methods. And perhaps, he added, the word landing softly yet ominously, Compromises. Ilara's smile returned, but it didn't reach her eyes. The culinary landscape is ever evolving, Chef. Mega Nutri stands at the forefront. We make adjustments and find new solutions. It's how progress is achieved. Alex let out a low laugh, lacking any mirth. Progress? He shook his head. Call it what you will, Ilara. I call it control. You want my recipes and techniques, but more importantly, you want to control their use and the flavors your engineered creations can mimic. Elara's gaze hardened. You underestimate the potential, chef. Your work, amplified by our resources, would no longer be my work. Alex cut her off. It'd be mega nutries, mass produced, bland, stripped of everything that makes it special. A chef's name traded for a corporate logo. 
the silence that fell was thick with tension. The veneer of pleasantries lay in tatters. This negotiation wasn't about a partnership anymore. It was about Alex's freedom, and perhaps, in his mind, the freedom of taste across the galaxy. Ilara steepled her fingers, power and menace radiating from her. Chef Alex. Her voice dropped dangerous now. It seems you've developed misconceptions about Mega Nutri's goals. This opportunity is generous, a chance to elevate your craft beyond anything you could achieve alone. There it was, a threat cloaked in false concern. Alex realised playing dumb was his best bet. Now was not the time for a full-blown rebellion, not while still trapped in the heart of the beast. He needed proof, leverage, something more than his word against the might of Mega Nutri. Misconceptions, perhaps, he allowed, mirroring Ilara's steepled fingers in a gesture of faux contemplation. I am a simple chef, after all. Your operation, it's impressive, undeniably so, yet... He let the word hang, feigning reluctance. Yet? Ilara's tone was sharp, suspicion pricking at her composure. Alex sighed, a picture of conflicted brilliance. Scale and efficiency are necessary, of course. But what of the spark? The joy of discovery? My dishes aboard the Devourer are unpredictable. He allowed himself a calculated smirk. A touch chaotic, some might say. Even dangerous occasionally. But that is where true flavour is born, isn't it? He watched Alara closely. This was his gamble play up the image of an eccentric culinary genius, driven by messy inspiration, impossible to replicate on a corporation's assembly line. Mega Nutri craved control. Perhaps, with the right push, they'd realise he was ultimately uncontrollable. Chaos does not lend itself to standardisation, Chef Alex, Ilara countered, her voice laced with doubt. Oh, but perhaps it does, Alex said spreading his arms wide as if presenting a grand idea. Imagine a premium line, Chef Alex Originals. The limited edition naturally showcases the more adventurous side of my work. Cater to those seeking the unique. He noted the flicker in Alara's eyes, a calculated concession, offering a taste of his genius, packaged as exclusivity to appeal to their clients always hungry for novelty. It was dangerous, yes, but it also bought him time. An intriguing, albeit risky, proposition, Elara murmured. Exclusivity carries a certain allure, but also uncertainty. Precisely, Alex exclaimed, seizing the opening. That's where you come in. Mega Nutri's distribution channels, your marketing expertise, tame the chaos just enough for a discerning palate. He leaned back a picture of cunning disguised as naive enthusiasm. A collaboration of epic proportions, Ilara. Success beyond measure. It was a tightrope act. Give them too much, and they would control the flavour, stripping it of soul. Give them too little, and he would be a liability, a potential leak in their meticulously crafted system. He needed to stoke their greed and insecurity, just enough to plant the seed of doubt, that perhaps Chef Alex was better as a carefully managed asset than an outright enemy. Elara studied Alex for a long, unnerving moment. Her earlier confidence seemed shaken, replaced by a cold, predatory focus. She was no longer looking at a naive chef dazzled by corporate might, but a potential rival, a wild card far too unpredictable for comfort. Your proposal has merit, she admitted, the words forced. This premium line could indeed cater to an elite clientele. A calculated risk, perhaps, but a risk Mega Nutri is not afraid to take. Alex hid a smirk of triumph. He'd played his hand well. However, Ilara continued, her voice hardening again. Let us be clear, Chef Alex. This is not a partnership of equals. Mega Nutri will retain ultimate control. Recipes, production methods, distribution, 
subject to modification according to market demands. The steel was back in her tone, a reminder of where the true power lay. Naturally, Alex conceded, masking his distaste. He had to play along for now. My expertise is at your disposal to be honed and refined by your superior knowledge. He couldn't help the subtle jab, a small act of defiance he could pass off as ego. Ilara's eyes narrowed. She knew he was playing a dangerous game, but his skill was undeniable. And like a predator, she was fascinated and wary of the prey that might bite back. Very well, she said, rising to her feet and extending a perfectly manicured hand. We have an accord, Chef Alex. Tentative, but with significant potential. My team will draft a revised contract for your consideration. There was the veiled threat again, cloaked in a semblance of cordiality. Alex stood, taking her hand. The touch was cold, sending a shiver down his spine. I eagerly awaited Alara. He forced a smile, the image of the pulsating creatures swirling in his mind. This was far from over. It was only the beginning. Alex's thoughts raced as Ilara escorted him back towards the facility's entrance. He'd managed to secure some time, but at a cost. He was now both a vendor and a potential target for Mega Nutri. His next steps had to be meticulously planned. He needed to gather proof of their nefarious activities, find allies within and without the corporation, and prepare his crew for the culinary war that was undoubtedly brewing. The walk back through the gleaming hallways felt different. Alex wasn't just a guest anymore. He was a spy walking among enemies, his every smile a calculated move, every nod of agreement part of the facade he'd carefully constructed. The air hummed with unseen danger, the scent of artificial sweetness laced with the metallic tang of a far greater threat. Leaving Mega Nutri's headquarters wasn't an escape, it was merely a shift in the battlefield. Back on the Stellar Devourer, he'd need to leverage Vorax's greed and feed Mega Nutri's hunger for profit while carefully gathering the means to disrupt their plans from the inside. He was Alex Grant, a chef and accidental revolutionary, and the fight for flavour had just gotten far more dangerous. Alex quickly went to the trade hub to purchase supplies when he stepped off Mega Nutri's pristine shuttle. He still needed to keep up the appearance that he'd been shopping all this time. After a short period, bags of supplies in hand, he finally found himself boarding the docked Stellar Devourer. The familiar hum of the ship was less a nuisance and more a comforting embrace. Once unbearable, the reek of recycled air and ration paste now smelled faintly of rebellion. He traded gleaming corridors for cramped passageways, sterile efficiency for the unpredictable pulse of a pirate crew, and it felt strangely like coming home. Yet, under the surface warmth, a flicker of unease gnawed at him. He'd been careful, but secrets had a way of leaking out like gas from a faulty pipe in the close quarters of a pirate ship. And someone like Silvac always seemed to smell them first. Once a space of culinary chaos and complaints, the galley thrummed with a different kind of energy as Alex stepped inside. Eyes glinted with hunger, and an almost predatory anticipation followed his every move. Thanks to Silvac, who, under Vorax's orders, had closely followed Alex before his tour, the news of his mega nutri visit had spread through the ship like a tantalizing rumor, twisting in the retelling until it reached mythic proportions. How was your visit to Mega Nutri, human? Vorax boomed over the crowded crew. Alex's face was filled with confusion. How in the world, Alex began before being cut short. I had Silvac follow you. Alex looked to Silvac, who shot back a wicked grin. Silvac, ever observant, pieced together the whispers of your supply run and the sight of the sleek Mega Nutri shuttle. Vorax concluded. Caught with his hand in the cookie jar, Alex no longer needed to hide the truth. The visit was very much worthwhile, he said, a newfound confidence in his voice. 
Chef Alex. A Krell Nixie scuttled forward, speaking in broken tones as it tried to express itself in human words. We hunger for the flavours. They sing to our soul. Your dishes, we crave them. They rival the Ambrosian Nebula. Others clamoured around him, a chorus of rumbling growls, sibilant whispers and chittering squeaks, demanding a taste of the promised culinary revolution. Alex felt their stares like hot coals on his skin, the knowledge of what lay beneath Meganutri's promises turning the crew's excitement into a sickening parody. Patience, my friends, patience. Alex raised his hands, forcing a smile. True culinary excellence takes time, but rest assured, the feasts that await will surpass your wildest imaginings. His words hung heavy in the air, laced with an unspoken truth. He moved towards the prep station, his usual haven. Yet, amidst the familiar spice racks and battered pots, he felt out of place. The knowledge of monstrous ingredients whispered threats and insidious ambitions tainted his sanctuary. This was a battlefield now, not just a kitchen. Tell us, human, Silvac hissed, the Thraxian's multiple eyes glinting with suspicion. You were gone too long. Did those soft-skinned fools offer you riches? Silvac, once blissfully focused on anything edible, now seemed cunning. The changes this crew had undergone due to Alex's culinary interference had sharpened their minds and appetites. Alex busied himself with measuring dried herbs, the familiar scent a feeble attempt at grounding himself. What they offered, he replied, is irrelevant. Meganutri sees what we have here on the Stellar Devourer. They crave a piece of it, a large piece. Vorax, towering over the scene, gave a low, rumbling chuckle. His scaled form shimmered in the galley lights, greed radiating from him. Then let them. We strike a deal, take their credit and grow strong. Isn't that what you always wanted, human? Alex sprinkled the herbs into a mixing bowl with calculated force. I want what's best for the crew, but Mega Nutri is no benevolent charity. They hunger for control as much as profit. Control? A flicker of genuine confusion replaced Vorax's avarice. They control food. We control trade routes. Simple. Alex sighed. Dealing with Vorax was as much a battlefield as confronting Mega Nutri, but one where cunning, not culinary skills, would be his weapon. Think bigger, Captain. He leaned in, lowering his voice. They see our success and Mega Nutri fears it will spread to rival crews. Imagine Mega Nutri approved Nutri packs on every ship and port. That is the control they crave. A galaxy addicted to their bland perfection. Vorax looked thoughtful, and then his scaled features twisted into a cunning grin. So, we turn the tables, sell our dishes but at a price they can't refuse, make them bleed credits to line our pockets, Yes? It was a dangerous game, feeding the captain's greed to buy precious time. But as Alex crushed the herbs, releasing a bitter scent into the air, he knew there was no going back. He was now the chef, the rebel, and the only one who saw the monstrous shadow looming over the stellar devourer, its tendrils reaching toward the heart of the trade hub itself. Alex could practically taste the shift in the galley's atmosphere. The crew's hunger hadn't diminished, but it was now laced with something akin to reverence and a hint of fear. The naive chef who'd once been tolerated was now a figure of power, the source of their cravings and the key to unimaginable profit. It was an intoxicating yet dangerous mix, a particularly ambitious Krelnixie, with a reputation for bartering everything from spare parts to dubious aphrodisiacs, stepped forward its mandibles working feverishly. Perhaps the chef isn't just a chef anymore. Perhaps it clicked its pincers for emphasis. There's an opportunity here. A 
culinary empire of our own? The idea hung in the air, both a temptation and a silent threat. Alex saw the glint in their eyes. They wanted better food and a share of the power it brought. The thought left a sour taste in his mouth. Was this the future he was creating? One where flavour became another commodity, another means of exploitation? An empire, perhaps, Alex answered, his voice carefully neutral. But one built on satisfaction, not standardisation. There is a fine line. The galley fell silent. Then Silvak stepped forward, his multiple eyes glittering in the dim light. You walk a fine line yourself, human, he rasped. One day saviour, the next a merchant like them. Which side are you truly on? The accusation stung. It was easy to demonise Mega Nutri, but he was fueling this greed machine as well, just with slightly less horrifying ingredients. Yet, retreat wasn't an option. To protect himself and the possibility of culinary redemption, he needed to play this game better than anyone aboard the Stellar Devourer. Alex met Silvak's gaze head on. The side of flavour, my friend. True flavour, untainted by corporate greed. And to ensure that... He let the promise linger, reaching into his pockets. He retrieved a handful of shimmering data crystals. This is my first instalment from Mega Nutri, a taste of things to come. He tossed the crystals onto the counter. They scattered, glinting like fool's gold. The effect was immediate. Greed washed over the crew, momentarily erasing the doubt and suspicion. Vorax barked a laugh that made the galley walls shiver. Now you speak their language, human. But this, this is just a down payment for what we truly deserve. We have something they need, making us rich beyond imagining. The crew echoed their captain's greedy chorus. Yet Alex, amidst the cheers, felt a more profound unease. He'd won a battle, but the war raged within him. Had he become the very thing he was trying to fight? Was there a way to wield this culinary power without corrupting everything it touched? He might have to find an answer quickly. That gleam in Vorax's eyes promised that negotiations at the trade hub were about to escalate to dangerous new levels. The days following Alex's return became a whirlwind of culinary creation laced with mounting tension. He pushed himself to greater heights of innovation under the crew's hungry eyes. Each experiment felt more like a battlefield manoeuvre than a creative endeavour. The ingredients were not just food, but weapons, a way to control his fellow pirates, barter with the trade hub, and perhaps subtly sabotage Mega Nutri's plans. Yet despite his successes, a shadow haunted him. The memory of those vats, those hideous creatures lingered in his nightmares. Whenever he reached for a jar of exotic spices, he felt their unseen eyes on him. Sleep became a luxury, every quiet moment an opportunity for guilt and fear to consume him. Silvak was his constant shadow. No longer a lumbering, easily pleased underling, the Thraxian moved with a disquieting intelligence. Alex would catch him staring, not with hunger, but with suspicion, as though trying to decipher the enigma the human chef had become. One evening, as the stellar devourer drifted on the edge of the trade hub's glittering chaos, Silvak cornered him in a dimly lit storage corridor, pinning Alex against a stack of ration crates with surprising strength. Lies, the Thraxian hissed, his breath sour in Alex's face. You speak of flavour, of rebellion, but all I smell is a deal with those, those breeders. Alex tensed, but kept his voice calm. Mega Nutri is a means to an end, Silvak, a tool in our hands. A tool? Silvak flexed his clawed limbs, his multiple eyes glinting with fury. You think us fools? My people have feasted on your creations and grown sharper. We see things differently now, human. You are becoming like them. 
Alex shoved him away, anger mixing with a desperate surge of adrenaline. Then look beyond the surface, you scaled idiot. Do you think Mega Nutri will allow our little culinary revolution to continue unchecked? Profit is their god and flavor. Flavor for Mega Nutri is just a way to control the masses. Silvak tilted his head, a sliver of doubt entering his multifaceted gaze. Alex pressed his advantage. We need them for now, to build our strength. But when the time is right, when they are fat and greedy, then... Alex's voice dropped to a near whisper. We strike. The Thraxian remained silent, his form tense, his eyes unreadable. It hung in the air, a fragile alliance that could turn into a deadly rivalry at any moment. Yet, Silvak finally stepped back. Perhaps, he rumbled. But remember, human, power changes appetites. Be careful what you feed the beast, lest you become its next meal. With that ominous warning, the Thraxian vanished into the corridor's shadows. Alex remained leaning against the crates, his heart pounding, the lingering scent of the Thraxian's acidic sweat making him shudder. It was clear that he no longer dealt with just a pirate crew. His culinary creations forged something new, unpredictable, and potentially as dangerous as Meganutri. Had he merely replaced one enemy with another? The galaxy spun in dizzying circles, the faces of the corporation and his motley crew blurring together. Ignited by a simple desire for better food, his revolution now threatened to swallow him whole. Alex, the once ordinary chef, found himself at the centre of a battle where flavours were weapons and every dish had the potential to become a ticking time bomb. As weeks passed, Alex found himself barely able to stomach his own cooking. The once joyful sizzle and fragrance, the playful experimentation had become perfunctory. Each dish became another calculated move in his desperate strategy. Every bite the crew took felt like another nail hammered into his culinary coffin. Vorax, however, was oblivious to Alex's internal turmoil. His hunger for profit had eclipsed any lingering suspicion. Driven by dreams of a culinary empire built on Alex's recipes, he'd secured high-level negotiations within the trade hub. The elite of the hub, alien dignitaries, wealthy merchants, and even potential investors, were clamouring for a taste of the Stellar Devourer's legendary cuisine. The night before the Grand Showcase, Alex sequestered himself in the galley. This wasn't just about cooking, it was about crafting weapons disguised as delicacies. The plan was reckless, dangerous, and perhaps the only way to destabilise Mega Nutri's ambitions. But every time he looked at the ingredients, the images from the horrifying bioengineering chamber returned. Was this necessary? Was there even a chance it would work? He forced himself to focus, steeping rare spices in pungent smuggled liquors to create a sauce with a hidden kick, powerful enough to knock out a small Krelnixi. Deceptively sweet pastries were laced with a potent concoction made from an insectile secretion known to cause temporary let's say, digestive chaos in most humanoids. And his showstopper, a flambe with an aroma so delectable it made the crew moan in anticipation, contained a rare root that induced a harmless but visually shocking allergic reaction in anyone with a Thraxian-like genetic makeup. Sabotage, Alex whispered, the word tasting of ash. In any other context, he'd despise this underhanded approach. But desperate times, he told himself, called for desperate culinary measures. His hands trembled as he set the table for the upcoming feast. Each dish wasn't a testament to his skill, but a potential landmine. He was serving rebellion. But the aftermath, the chaos, the inevitable mega nutri retaliation made his stomach churn with guilt and dread. Yet what choice did he have? As he finished the preparations, a familiar figure emerged from the shadows, Silvak. A banquet fit for betraying kings, the Thraxian observed, his tone flat. 
Alex met his gaze. It's not betrayal. It's a warning. A reminder that Mega Nutri's feast comes with strings attached. The Thraxian circled the table, his sucker-lined mouth twitching. And whose strings would those be, human? Mega Nutri's? Or yours? Before Alex could answer, Vorax's booming voice echoed through the corridor. Chef, our guests will arrive soon. Where is my taste of the empire we're building? He lumbered into the galley, an eager entourage of curious aliens trailing behind him. Silvac melted back into the shadows, leaving Alex to face what lay ahead. The banquet, he realised, was just the opening salvo. The actual war would begin the moment the guests took their first bites. Alex, a chef amidst a galactic conspiracy, was about to start a culinary revolution. The only question was whether the flames would consume him first. The banquet hall, usually reserved for stolen loot and dubious arm wrestling contests, was transformed. Shimmering fabrics replaced cobwebs, and the soft glow of bioluminescent algae banished the harsh hum of the ship's lighting. Vorax, in a surprisingly well fitting, if gaudy suit, beamed at the assembled delegates, a grotesque parody of a maitre d'ail. Alex lingered close to the galley entrance. His apron was stained with last minute adjustments, his chef's knife at the ready, and he was less a proud creator and more of a soldier anticipating an ambush. He watched as servers and crew members bribed and threatened into temporary compliance and carried out his carefully sabotaged creations. The initial reception was precisely as Alex had calculated. Gasps of delight, exclamations over the unique textures and eruptions of praise over flavours that pushed the boundaries of the known culinary landscape. Hub dignitaries with multi-limbed forms or delicate antennae devoured his dishes with surprising enthusiasm. Yet, beneath the surface, unease rippled through the crowd. A Krelnixi investor, mid-conversation, clutched his thorax, his typically iridescent shell paling alarmingly. A xenozoologist, famed for her cast-iron stomach, suddenly dashed from the room, leaving behind a trail of half-eaten delicacies. The centrepiece of the sabotage, the flambe, went off with spectacular results. Its blue-tinged flames and intoxicating aroma triggered an explosion of sneezes, shimmering secretions, and a Thraxian noblewoman dramatically swelling to twice her size. The banquet hall descended into glorious pandemonium. Vorax initially bellowed in fury. Sabotage, he roared. Who dares poison our guests? Alex stepped forward, seizing the chaos to twist it in his favour. Poison? Hardly, Captain. Consider this an unfortunate incompatibility. A reminder that not all pallets are created equal. He scanned the room. Panic and confusion were the dominant flavours of the evening, and those played perfectly into his hands. Mega Nutri, he continued, his voice echoing in the tense silence. Would have you believe their mass-produced food is universal. One size fits all but the true flavour and satisfaction are as varied as the stars themselves. He gestured to the wheezing dignitary, the blushing noblewoman, and the investor frantically shedding his exoskeleton. My dishes were made with the finest ingredients, but without the modifications mega nutri favours. This, he spread his arms wide, is a glimpse of what they conceal. Whispers arose among the guests. Doubt, then a glimmer of outrage flickered in once eager eyes. Mega Nutri had promised ease and predictability, and now their potential buyers were publicly suffering the consequences. Vorax, ever the opportunist, moved through the crowd, abandoning accusations in favour of shrewd negotiation. A niche market, he boomed. Exclusive experiences for a discerning clientele. Imagine. Customised dishes tailored to your unique biology. The Stella Devourer leads the culinary revolution. The chaos Alex had sown was fertile ground for Vorax's greed. As the evening spiralled further into absurdity, 
it became clear his plans were shifting. This wasn't about partnering with Mega Nutri, it was about surpassing them, becoming the galaxy's sole supplier of the unpredictable, exquisite, and potentially embarrassing. Alex watched, a mix of relief and unease churning within him. He'd lit the fuse, but the explosion was far more incredible than anticipated. Had he just aided Vorax in creating something worse than Mega Nutri? The Stellar Devourer was now a force to be reckoned with, and his culinary creations were now bargaining chips of cosmic proportions. The unlikely chef Alex had become the accidental kingmaker in a culinary war. Now he just had to figure out how not to be crushed beneath the throne he had built. The Stellar Devourer buzzed with different energy in the aftermath of the chaotic banquet. Deals were struck within the haze of digestive remedies, and alliances were formed and discarded over hastily scribbled contracts. Vorax moved amidst the chaos with manic glee, his ambitions fueled by equal parts. Alex's culinary sabotage and the trade hub elite's sudden insatiable desire for the dangerously unique. For Alex, there was no rest. The galley was now less a kitchen and more a battleground. His notebooks, once filled with recipes, overflowed with meticulous observations of alien physiology, hastily sketched potential side effects, and their possible use in upcoming clandestine culinary operations. Every ingredient was now analysed not just for flavour, but for its potential to be weaponized and set against a new enemy, Vorax's insatiable greed for control. Sleep, when it came, was filled with feverish dreams. Ingredients danced and writhed, transforming into wriggling sensors, explosive surprises, and microscopic messages begging to be smuggled into Mega Nutri's heavily guarded territory. He'd wake, heart pounding, the taste of metallic bioengineering tanks clinging to his tongue. Was this the future he'd chosen? Had his culinary crusade been warped into something monstrous by his own ambition? Yet the faintest glimmer of hope materialized amidst the madness. Rumors had filtered back from the hub. Mega Nutri's reputation was in shambles. The promise of bland universal nutrition suddenly held less appeal when faced with the reality of its spectacular public failures. News arrived of cancelled shipments, disgruntled investors, and a growing unease among corporate leadership. Then came the message, relayed through a network of sympathetic trade hub contacts and coded in a cipher only a desperate chef could have concocted. Mega Nutri wanted a second meeting, not to solidify a partnership, but to negotiate damage control. They were reeling and desperate. Alex knew this was his chance, a dangerous gamble, but perhaps his best opportunity to strike closer to the heart of Mega Nutri and expose their secrets once and for all. He approached Vorax, tempering his urgency with a calculated facade of subservience. Captain, he began, offering a spice-laden pastry laced with a mild sedative for good measure. An opportunity has arisen, a chance to cement our advantage. Vorax, momentarily slowed by the unexpected treat, eyed Alex shrewdly. Opportunity, you say? For more chaos, more... Explosive flavours? Alex forced a smile. For expansion, Captain. Mega Nutri is wounded. Now is the time to strike the heart of their operation. The sedative began its work. Vorax's scaled brow furrowed in thought. You have a plan, human? More tricks? A flicker of triumph ignited inside Alex. Not tricks, Captain. This is a demonstration of our culinary supremacy. Intrigued, Vorax leaned closer. And Alex, his mind racing, began to weave a plan. A daring infiltration disguised as a business proposition. A final confrontation where authentic flavours would battle corporate control for the galaxy's fate. It was time to bring the war into the lion's den. Alex's plan was audacity disguised as a catering proposal. It was less negotiation and more a culinary Trojan horse, a chance to infiltrate Mega Nutri's inner sanctum, 
gather evidence of their horrifying practices, and perhaps, if he was lucky, ignite a revolt from within. Persuading Vorax, however, was its own battle. The captain, fueled by greed and blunted by the lingering effects of Alex's special pastry, needed convincing that this wasn't a sacrifice, but an expansion of his culinary empire. Mega Nutri, Alex explained, carefully presenting a platter of stunning and deceptively benign appetizers, is floundering. Their reputation is damaged. This universal taste, it's a failure. Vorax grunted, picking at a skewer of perfectly cooked shellfish dipped in a sauce that would numb his palate for the rest of the cycle. So, we profit either way. Chaos is good for business. True, Alex conceded. But what if they become our business, not as partners, but as a subsidiary? His voice grew bold. Imagine, Captain, the stellar devourer supplying their vast network, not just food, but an experience only we can provide. Vorax's eyes gleamed. This wasn't just greed anymore. It was the allure of complete domination. Yet suspicion still lingered, the sedative's influence wavering. You'll need to get close to them, human, into their heart. Alex smiled a predator's grin that mirrored Vorax's own. Leave that to me. Their greatest failure was underestimating the power of flavour. Their next mistake will be underestimating a chef. The plan was a dangerous mix of brilliance and recklessness. Mega Nutri, desperate to salvage its reputation, would agree to a high-profile catering event. Alex would spearhead it with a team of the Stella Devourer's finest culinary misfits. Their dishes would be delicious and laced with subtle coded messages, clues meant to sow dissent amongst Mega Nutri's own ranks. Meanwhile, cloaked in extravagance, Alex would use the opportunity to gather incriminating evidence. The memory of those monstrous vats burned in his mind. He needed proof to expose the horror beneath the polish and break the galaxy's addiction to manufactured flavour. The days leading up to the event were a blur of culinary mayhem and covert manoeuvrings. Alex pushed his crew, fueled by equal parts fear and newfound ambition, to craft dishes that hinted at chaos. He experimented with mind-altering spices, memory-inducing emulsions, and ingredients cleverly designed to counteract the effects of Mega Nutri's synthetic enhancements. Word began filtering back through his tenuous trade hub network. The catering event was more than just damage control. It was a desperate ploy by the Mega Nutri leadership to appease shareholders and potential clients. Alex would be serving food and a carefully crafted illusion, a glimpse of the unique product the Stella Devourer could offer all while subtly undermining their credibility. It was a culinary heist disguised as a business venture. As the battered shuttle approached the gleaming spires of Mega Nutri HQ for the second time, a different kind of tension thrummed in Alex's veins. He wasn't just a chef walking into the lion's den. He was a saboteur, a revolutionary, and a desperate man gambling the fate of the galaxy on his ability to cook. Stepping past the gleaming Mega Nutri threshold this time, Alex wasn't an awestruck chef, but a warrior armed with knives, knowledge, and a simmering rage. The Stella Devourer crew hand picked and drilled in Alex's unique brand of culinary warfare, transformed from pirates into a precision strike force. The venue shimmered with sterile perfection that set Alex's teeth on edge. Mega Nutri had spared no expense. Tables overflowed with exotic blooms, each emitting a carefully curated scent. Ice sculptures whispered of distant, untouched worlds. It had all the warmth and soul of a corporate earnings report, which Alex knew was exactly the point. Make this place ours, he hissed to his crew. Out came the tarnished serving platters, the chipped heirloom silverware, and the tapestries scavenged from a dozen backwater planets. Fueled by adrenaline and a newfound sense of purpose, the crew moved with practiced ease, their rough edges a defiant statement against the manicured aesthetic. 
Alex took centre stage in a makeshift kitchen, his workspace a whirlwind of familiar chaos amidst the cold precision of Mega Nutri's industrial appliances. He inhaled the scents of his ingredients, potent rainforest herbs, crystals of salt mined from an asteroid belt, a source infused with the bioluminescence of deep sea creatures. These weren't just flavours, they were stories, rebellion in every grain and drop. The first course, a deceptively delicate soup, was designed to agitate. Its warming spices subtly counteracted the numbing effects of standard mega nutri fare, opening their unsuspecting guests' palates and hopefully their minds. The aroma, a vibrant symphony of notes alien to corporate cuisine, triggered murmurs of confusion and surprise across the opulent hall. Dish after dish emerged, each more breathtaking than the last. A Krelnixi executive, accustomed to bland efficiency, choked back a surprised yelp as a sliver of roasted asteroid eel triggered a cascade of flavour memories long dulled by the monotony of Nutripacks. A Thraxian investor, softened by a dessert with aphrodisiac qualities, found himself confessing a long-forgotten craving for his grandmother's hive cakes. The tension coiled tighter with each course. Ilara, with a mask of icy composure barely concealing her fury, observed as her carefully built world began to crack. Here was flavour defying control, a culinary revolution served on the finest plates. And hidden within it all, whispers of Alex's rebellion, a spice that amplified empathy smuggled inside shimmering pastries, a rare fruit whose scent subtly hinted at the sterile horror of the bioengineering labs. Alex wasn't just serving food, but leaving clues, a trail of breadcrumbs meant to awaken a hunger for truth amidst the corporate feast. As the evening teetered towards its inevitable orchestrated chaos, Alex knew it was time for his final act. The showstopper, a blazing symphony of flavour and deception designed to deliver his parting message. With a flourish, he unveiled his creation. Flames licked the air, carrying the intoxicating scent of rebellion. And in that moment, Alex was more than a chef. He was a culinary sorcerer, harnessing the power of taste to ignite change. And as the mega Nutri elite dug in, their eyes bright with anticipation, they were unwittingly consuming the seeds of their own downfall. This wasn't just dinner. It was the first strike in a war for the very soul of flavour itself. Chaos erupted with the precision timing of a well-planned recipe. Within moments of the final course, Mega Nutri's carefully cultivated veneer of control began to disintegrate. Alex's dishes effects hit like a tidal wave, a symphony of culinary sabotage. A xenobiologist with an unfortunate shellfish allergy suddenly found herself able to communicate fluently with the Krelnixi delegation. The translator implant was no longer needed as it usually suppressed her linguistic quirks. An executive board member with a suppressed passion for interpretive dance abandoned his carefully negotiated contract discussions to leap onto the table. He performed a surprisingly moving rendition of The Dying Pulsar to the bewildered accompaniment of shimmering pastries pulsating with unexpected heat. And amidst it all, subtle shifts in perception spread amongst the crowd. Previously focused on market share and profit margins, conversations drifted toward childhood memories of long-forgotten dishes. Eyes once fixated on projections, detailing Mega Nutri's galactic domination plans, shimmered with a spark of rebellious curiosity. Alex, surveying the glorious pandemonium with barely concealed glee, knew his dishes weren't just wreaking havoc, they were subtly stripping back the layers of bland obedience Mega Nutri had carefully cultivated. He was serving revolution, a dash of chaos in a galaxy desperate for a taste of something true. The arrival of Mega Nutri security, not to arrest Alex and his crew, but to contain the escalating absurdity and shield the guests from any potentially damning outbursts, was the final confirmation of his success. Ilara, no longer composed but incandescent with rage, stormed towards him, 
her tailored suit failing to hide her agitation. This, this madness, she spat. Was this your plan all along, chef, to ruin us? Alex offered her a disarming smile that was more conspirator than a chef. Ruin? No, Ilara. Transformation. You offered the galaxy a bland utopia, a culinary dictatorship. I'm simply offering... options. She opened her mouth for a furious retort, but it was cut short by a thunderous belch from a nearby Thraxian investor, followed by a truly impressive projectile expulsion of half-digested flambe. Elara showered in shimmering blue goo, could only sputter in outrage as the investor, in a surprisingly poignant outburst, tearfully lamented the loss of his true individuality under Mega Nutri's oppressive culinary regime. Surrounded by chaos and the dawning horror on Ilara's face, Alex signalled to his crew. It was time for a strategic retreat. Under the guise of containing the culinary disaster, they slipped out of the Grand Hall, leaving a bewildered security force to deal with impromptu poetry recitals, interspecies insult duels, and the beginnings of what looked suspiciously like a choreographed dance riot. Back on the Stella Devourer, amidst boisterous celebration and the lingering scent of rebellion, Alex collapsed in his battered galley chair. The elation of the moment was undercut by a bone-deep weariness. He'd lit a fire within Mega Nutri, but controlling the blaze was beyond the power of a single chef. Yet, he'd accomplished what had once seemed impossible. He turned the small data chip over in his fingers. It pulsed with faint energy, stolen from the heart of Mega Nutri's system amidst the chaos. Inside were production figures, trade route blueprints, and most importantly, the horrifying evidence of their actual flavour source. Damning proof no amount of corporate spin could erase. Countless worlds were ripe for change, desperate for it. Alex just needed to find the right people, spread the word, and arm them with the truth. People's taste buds were awakening, ready to savour a rebellion. Alex wouldn't just be a chef anymore. He'd be the catalyst, the accidental hero who traded a frying pan for a revolution. His war was far from over. But as he savoured the metallic tang of victory in the air, he knew one thing for certain, that the galaxy would never taste the same again.